Hi, Josh. <laughs> Let's start Hi, this Candy. officially. First of all, congratulations on a new album. You know, you guys have been very busy <laughs> during the pandemic. And I'm so glad that you guys really channeled all that, you know, cooped up energy into something really creative for your fans to enjoy. And before I actually go to the first question, I just got to tell you, you know, we play your songs all the damn time on Jamie 8.3 because we all love it. So kudos on that. And congratulations again. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> yeah, of course. So let's get to um, your latest album, Scale the Nicey, right? Which you just announced is coming out next month. Um, can you tell me how it's different from Trench? Because, you know, that was very like Trench was such a conceptual album. Is it going to be the same for Scale the Nicey? Yeah, you know, um, I think really for, for quite a while now, we've kind of been utilizing the idea of um, uh, and, and, and kind of uh, embracing the fact that the people really like to, to dive in and, um, and kind of go deeper with the, the songs and the lyrics and, and um, uh, enjoy sort of a narrative throughout. And, and it's been awesome for us because I think that... Um, utilizing sort of every avenue of um of creativity that we can um and, and even kind of like uh implementing some some extra things even outside of the music um is, is really exciting um and fun and i think for us and and um it turns out for other people as well so we've been we've been kind of um you know we have kind of a, a narrative that's that's gone on for the past few albums and continues to go on through this one um it, it, it looks a little bit different and I think some of that will be uncovered with time. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we've also been pretty intentional about trying to, you know, kind of have this narrative going throughout the mm -hmm. album, but through all the albums, but um, definitely making it so that, um, you know, you can turn on the radio and right. hear a song and enjoy it and not feel lost or feel confused. Um, and so that's the, also another fun thing, um, and putting, you know, putting it together is, um, is trying not to get so lost in it that, uh, the music just becomes unenjoyable. Right. Um, so there is a little bit of it. Um, I, I, I would say that the feel of this album, um, is, is a little bit more straightforward than, than, uh, than Trench, our last album, but, um, there's definitely still some narrative, uh, within. Right. It's good. I think, um, you know, your fans really resonate well with you guys having like all these narratives in your albums as well. So that's a that's that's one of your strong suits for sure. with 21 Pilots right. and like a lot of people really resonate with that. So that's good. I mean, it's good to know that you still have a narrative for uh, uh, Scale the Nicey. Uh, but like you said, it's just more straightforward this time around. Now, um, you guys earned a Grammy with Jumpsuit, which is from Trench, right? So are you guys gunning for another Best Rock Song Award with Shy Away or any of your songs from Scaled and Icy? Well, we didn't win a Grammy, at least to my knowledge. <laughs> um, but um, I don't know, you know, I, yeah, I, I think um, we have won a Grammy before uh, and it's really cool. You know, that's a, that's a really cool thing. I, I feel, I, I do feel proud of that, um, but I, I do think back to when we were in the studio uh, working on that song, um, we were in the midst of an entire record. And that was kind of, for, for us, that was just another, that was another song on the record. We finished it. Oh. Um, there was, we didn't look at each other and be like, that's gonna, that's gonna be a hit. That's gonna win a Grammy. Um, uh, but, um, uh, but, but, you know, but it's, it's cool that that happened. I, but all that to say, I think when, we're working on music, uh, working on, um, you know, a, a song at a time. Um, it kind of really is, it's about kind of, um, you know, tr trying to kind of like balance this. Uh, well, what do, what do our fans want to hear? Mm -hmm. Also, what do we want to hear? What do we want to write? Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, and then I think that when we kind of get to a point where we, you know, we release a song or we release an album and people are excited about it and people show up to our concerts, that then to, to me and to us, uh, me and Tyler is uh, our sort of indicator of success. And um, so, you know, when, when we win um, any form of award, um, I think that's also kind of, it feels like 
a cherry on top uh, right. in a way, but, but I don't think that ever since the beginning of our career or even our, um, our love for music, have we um, measured success by awards. Of course. Um, but not to downplay it. It's still, it's still really cool. I just, I, I get, I get way more excited when I walk out on stage and I see people in the room and excited to, you know, be part of a, a concert with us. Right. So, I mean, you mentioned earlier that, you know, you guys didn't really write like the whole album thinking of it as like, oh, that's a, that's a track. That's a, that's a, an award right there. But did you have that kind of moment with any of the tracks? And I'm sure you did with all the tracks, but was there one particular track that really stood out for you? Like, do you have a favorite one from Scaled and Icy? Well, um, Kind of, you know, interestingly enough, I, I, I do feel like, and I would say most artists um, would probably agree that uh, it's never the song that they would that they would choose that, you know, that the people like, or the song that they would guess. I totally agree. Um, you know, uh, Stressed Out is, is our biggest song. And again, like I said, we just, that was another song for us. We never would have guessed that that would be the one that, uh, that, that um, turned out the way that it did. Um, but all that to say, um, you know, I think, um, I mean, Shy Away is one of my favorite songs on the album. Um, and, but, you know, I, I go off of the way that uh, the song makes me feel when I listen to it and when I play it on the drums. And um, another song called Saturday, I feel like, um, you know, sometimes you just listen to a song and, and do kind of think like, wow, this is, this is a, this is a great song. <laughs> I, I, right. I, I hope that it, you know, it goes far it does you know it does well um but i you, you know you just you just can't you never know but yeah, but yeah we're saturday i love <laughs> okay we're gonna mark we'll, that we'll see how josh's favorite song saturday and we're always gonna play it on jam at 8.3 I, I hope it's gonna be a single from the album because you know it's got your name on it <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah so i think we only have like a bit like two minutes three minutes left so I'm going to, I have a few questions, but I can't, you know, I can't ask all of them anymore. So I'm just going to wrap things up with one that's not really related to any of what we just talked about. Um, maybe a little bit trivial for you. What's your current favorite TV show right now? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, you know, that's the stuff that I like. And also, <laughs> yeah, I, I, guess it's, I guess it's my fault that you couldn't ask all the questions because I talked too that's much. That's fine. Um, so I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Current favorite TV show. Well, um, here's what I'll say is I, the way that I like to watch um, TV, uh, I can't do, I, you know, I, I can't do week to week. I can't, I, I, I feel like I, I, I need to go um, back and watch shows that have been on forever and then just have something that I can watch five or six you have episodes your set at once. I think I know what yeah. you mean. Like you just repeat Yeah, them. that's what I mean. I, it's it's hard for me to like just uh you know hop on board with a brand new show and then have to wait till the next week to watch it. And I guess that's changing now with streaming platforms and stuff. But all I have to say, um, there, my wife and I have been watching an older show called Criminal Minds. Um, I know that. Yeah, it's um, yeah, we just uh, my wife actually just started watching it while I was I was like playing drums one night and um. And I started watching it. I'm like, what are you watching? She's like, it's this creepy show. And so now, uh, you know, every time, every, like, when, whenever we watch TV in the evening, we're just like, creepy show. <laughs> um, and so that's just what we call it. Um, I like it. <laughs> but yeah, that's one, you know, we try to choose a show that just has tons of seasons and tons of episodes uh, that we can just watch, like, you know, three or four in an evening or, or something. And so that's, we've been on that one for a while. Okay, cool. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure I watched Criminal Minds yet, but I do know that I love those serial killer TV shows because, you know, everybody's yeah. on that. So it's good to know that you're on that too. Thank you so much. Um, I think yeah. that's it for me, Josh. Um, yeah, we don't awesome. have enough time. So there, Sorry. thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon and uh, stay safe. Awesome. You too. Thank Bye. you.